Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about treatment sequences. We have products for different applications, obviously, different frequency, different amplitude problems. And I think it's confusing to people. At least I get that sense talking to people on the phone. So we have two proprietary technologies, easy to focus on, carbon and foam. We just have the two. You know, quadratic diffusion, we help a lot. We have 35 years of experience working with it. We didn't create it. Uh, but I'm sure we can figure out how to use it. We've been doing it a long time. It's a wonderful technology. It's misused a lot. And when it's used correctly, it's wonderful. It can make your room sound twice as large and keep the same resolution or increase it, which is even greater. Who doesn't want a bigger sounding room with more resolution? Everybody, right? But you got to have a lot of things done first. It's the chocolate syrup on the ice cream, as we call it. So we can help you figure that out. Our carbon technology, we have the ACDA 10 and 12. That's those are big guns. So the ACDA 12 is 30 to 50, most powerful low frequency absorber in the marketplace. You will not find one more powerful. 30, 40, and 50 hertz. Look at the absorption coefficients we get on our test data. Go into the about section of the website. It's all shown in there. ACDA 10, 30 to 300. Because when we were doing our research, we saw these two frequency ranges in all the rooms. And we did two, 230 rooms. This was, these two frequency ranges were in every room. Now, more or less degrees of them, but they were still present in every room. So that's the reason I focused on those frequency ranges for the product's uh, specifications. So we put the foam on the face, you can extend the range to 6300. That 40 to 6300 is the frequency range that makes engineers work in constantly. So wouldn't you want to treat your room to be compatible with the frequency range in which your music was mixed? I think so, okay? So the carbon panel is our next offering. It's four inches less thick. The ACDAs, they're big, 16 inches deep. So if you don't have the room or you don't have the need to go down to 30 hertz, a lot of people don't, so you can start at 40, okay? Or if your room doesn't exhibit 30 cycle problems, you don't have to treat them. So 40 to 6300 is four inches less depth. A lot of times we'll put the ACDAs on, on a rectangular room on the short walls because they got the 30, 40, 50 cycle problems, and the longer side walls can use the carbon panel, which is good because then you, you don't have to give up so much space. Giving up space on the front and the rear is usually permissible, okay? So foam extends the range up to 6,300. Our CPA is kind of a hybrid. Put our foam inside a perforated absorber. That's how we get the 65 cycles. The three layers of foam. So you have six inches of foam with the perforated absorber technology. That gets us down to 65, which is where we need to be for wall hanging unit or for ceiling hanging units. So most of our products are broadband covering ranges, you know, and the big range is 30 to 6300. That was our focus when we were designing things. Got to follow the acronym TAP, type, amount, and position. You got to choose the type of all of these. You got to figure out the amount. We help you with that. And then where to place it, we help you with that. So we have the products to solve all the problems. Now we have to find the space and the money. Those are always the two issues that we face. Go to the room form on our website. It's on the home page, top left. It says, I think, room analysis. Yeah, so click on that, fill out all the information. Stand in the middle of the room and take pictures of each wall surface, including the ceiling. You can put up to six photos there. I need to see what we have available for treatment. We can identify the problems. If we don't have space to treat, what good is identifying the problem? So the pictures are really important. So please include those on the re, uh, room form. Treatment sequences, carbon and foam. Just remember, those are our two main headings, right? And then everything else kind of falls under them. You got the 10s, the 12s, the carbon panel. Here you have the CPA, the foam ladder, the acoustic panels, because they have the fabric on them. So it's kind of like rooms, pressure and reflections, two main categories. Treatment sequences. Hope this helps. Thank you.
Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.